In this video, we're going to go through some examples of expanding a fraction, algebraic fraction, out into partial fractions. So, number one, three x minus four over x minus two, x minus one. So we want to be able to write that as a over x minus two plus b over x minus one. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of this by x minus 2 times x minus 1. And we're going to get 3x minus 4 is equivalent to a lots of x minus 1 plus b lots of x minus 2. Now you want to learn to be able to get from that line to that line pretty quickly. Okay, so... Um, effectively what's going on is that this one is going to lose its denominator. This fraction, the denominator disappears, well the denominators disappear in all of them, but this bit gains what it doesn't have. It doesn't have an x minus 1 involved, so it's a lots of x minus 1. This bit gains what it doesn't have, so it gains an x minus 2. That's why the x minus 2 is next to the b. Okay, so little ways that you can remember what you need to write down at the next line rather than having to worry about multiplying both sides by two brackets. So at this stage, we're going to uh, let x be certain values to knock out those brackets. So if we let x be 2, then we're going to have 6 take away 4 is 2. And we've got 2 take away 1, so 1 lot of a, so there's your a. That bracket gets knocked out. So if we let x be 1 now, we get 3 take away 4, so minus 1. Uh, that bracket gets knocked out. We've got 1 take away 2, so minus 1. So that's minus b. So b must be 1. So in other words, we can write 3x minus 4 over x minus 2x minus 1 as 2 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 1, okay? And that will be my answer. So if we go into number 2, 4x minus 56 over x minus 8, x plus 4, we want to be able to write this as a over x minus 8 plus b over x plus 4. So if we go through this process, multiplying both sides by the x minus 8, x plus 4, we can get to 4x minus 56. The a gets the x plus 4. The b gets the x minus 8. So if we now let x be 8, then we get 4 lots of 8 take away 56. So 4 8 take away 56 gets me minus 24. 8 plus 4 is 12, so 12a, so a must be minus 2. And if we let x be minus 4, we're going to get 4 lots of minus 4. Uh, take away 56, so that gets me minus 72. The minus 4 knocks out that bracket. We've got minus 4 take away 8, so minus 12b. So if we divide minus 72 by 12, I get 6. So a is minus 2, b is 6. So we can write that as minus 2 over x minus 8 plus 6 over x plus 4. OK, so that would be number 2. Now, number 3, we've got 20 over x minus 3x plus 7. So we want to write that as a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 7. So if we multiply both sides by the x minus 3x plus 7, 20 will be equivalent to a lots of x plus 7 and b lots of x minus 3. So if I now let x be 3 then I get 20 is equal to 3 plus 7, so 10a. So a must be 2. And if we let x be minus 7, then 20 will be uh, minus 7 knocks out that bracket. Minus 7 take away 3 is minus 10, so minus 10b. So b must be minus 2. So a is 2. 
b is minus 2. So I could write plus minus 2 over x plus 7, or I could just write it as take away 2 over x plus 7. Okay? Right, so that's number 3. All right, I'm going to move on to the red pen because uh, I think that one's uh, on its last legs. Right, so number 4. 6x minus 11 over 2x plus 1, 3x minus 2. Now, in all the examples that we've seen so far, we, seen so far rather, um, we've just had a singular x. We haven't had a 2x or a 3x or anything like that, but the same process applies. Okay, So it's still going to be something over 2x plus 1 plus something over 3x minus 2. Okay, And so the next stage is also very much the same. 6x minus 11 will be the same as a lots of 3x minus 2 plus b lots of 2x plus 1. Now we're still going to choose values of x that are going to knock out those brackets. So it makes sense to knock out that bracket using x is minus a half. So when x is minus a half, we get 6 lots of minus a half. Then take away 11, so minus 14. And then we've got three lots of minus a half. Take away 2, so minus 7 halves a. And of course, substituting minus a half into that will get me uh, 0. So I can now divide both sides by the minus 7 halves. So minus 14 divided by minus 7 halves. Oh, not doing that very well. Let's try it again. There we are. Uh, it just gets me 4. OK, or you could have multiplied both sides by 2 or minus 2 and then divided by 7. So A is 4. Now, in order to knock out that bracket, we'll let X be 2 thirds. So we're going to have 6 lots of 2 thirds. Take away 11 is minus 7. So that knocks out that bracket. Two lots of two thirds plus one gets me seven thirds. Okay, so if you've got minus seven and you're dividing by seven thirds, you get minus three. So A is four, B is minus three. A is four. And B is minus three. Okay? We've now been able to write 6x minus 11 over 2x plus 1, 3x minus 2 as partial fractions. So that's number 4. So last one, number 5. We've got 2 over 5x minus 7, 4x plus 3. So a over 5x minus 7 plus b over 4x plus 3. OK, so 2 is the same as a lots of 4x plus 3 plus b lots of 5x minus 7. Now, if we substitute in 7 fifths, that will knock out that bracket. So we've got 2 is, well, 4 lots of 7 fifths uh, plus 3 gets me 43 fifths A. And of course, substituting 7 fifths into that gets me 0. So if I do 2 divided by 43 over 5, I get 10 over 43. Now, if I let x be minus 3 quarters, it'll knock out that bracket. So 2 will be equal to 5 times minus 3 quarters. Uh, take away 7, so minus 43 quarters b. And if I do 2 divided by minus 43 quarters, I get minus 8 40 thirds. Now, because uh, we've got a 
as a fraction, and we've also got b as a fraction. Okay, just writing the answer like that looks a bit nasty, right? It's uh, not nice to have fractions within fractions. So what you can do instead to clean this up is to write this as 10 over 43 5x minus 7. Okay, that's the first fraction. Take away 8 over 43 4x plus 3. Okay, and so you can write this in this form, and this is much nicer, not just to work with, but also to look at.